So this is Lupe Sina and Pablo. They are happily engaged and are planning to get married. They would like to extend their invites to the extended and immediate Aina. How does this even relate to action potential? So Lupe Sina and Pablo are like transmitters moving through the ion channels to carry the message, aka the invites, through the neuron, aka the villages. And this whole process is pretty much known as action potential. Action potential is how a neuron passes a message within itself. There are four stages to this process. Resting, depolarization, repolarization, and back to resting. During the resting stage, both potassium and sodium channels are closed. Here, the membrane potential is negative 70 millivolts. Inside the cell are potassium ions, and outside the cell are sodium ions. The number of sodium ions outside the neuron is greater than the number of potassium ions inside. This results on the outside of the cell being more positive than the inside of the cell. The next stage is depolarization. Here, the activated neuron causes the sodium channels to open. The sodium ions are then able to travel down their concentration gradient, making the inside of the cell more positive. This can be seen in the increasingly more positive membrane potential value. At negative 55 millivolts, the neuron will complete an action potential. This is the action potential threshold. It is often called an all or nothing mechanism. This is because unless the membrane potential reaches this change, the action potential will not occur. At a molecular level, action potential involves the opening of many more sodium channels. This allows a larger number of sodium ions to enter the cell, resulting in a rapid change in of polarity, where the inside of the cell is now positive and the outside of the cell is more negative. Once the maximum positive change is reached, repolarization can begin. At this stage, the sodium channels are closed to prevent the flow of sodium ions into the cell. Repolarization involves returning the charge inside the cell to negative and the outside of the cell to positive. This is achieved by opening the potassium channels, allowing the potassium ions inside the cell to travel down its concentration gradient. This process is rapid and involves the movement of many ions at any one time. As a result, hyperpolarization may occur where too many potassium ions accumulate outside the cell, which creates a membrane potential that is more negative than the neuron's ideal number of negative 70 millivolts. To return back to the resting stage, both the sodium and potassium channels are closed to prevent further hyperpolarization. In order to reach the ideal membrane potential of negative 70 millivolts, a more precise and controlled transfer of ions is required. This is the role of the sodium potassium pumps. They work by moving three sodium ions from inside the cell to the outside and moving two potassium ions from the outside to inside the cell. This is known as active transportation and requires ATP to occur. The conversion of ATP to ADP changes the shape of the pump, which allows it to pick up and drop off the correct ion in the right place. Once a membrane potential of negative 70 millivolts is reached, the neuron will be in the resting stage, where the sodium-potassium pump has stopped working, allowing the neuron to conserve energy. These five key stages from the full cycle of action potential, which is how impulses travel within the cell. Myelination. Myelination is the process whereby the action potential is transmitted at a very fast rate. The reason why we want to speed up the transmission of information from one nerve to the other is that nerve fibers are usually long, mainly because we want information to not only travel short distances, but long distances, especially to distant organs of the body, such as your calves or your spinal cord. Neuroglial cells, called Schwann cells, are responsible for forming fatty sheaths, called myelin sheaths, around the axons. They help speed the transmission of action potential through the axon. The myelin sheaths contain points known as nodes or ranvir. 
due to the action potential jumping from node to node. The action potential can move from the dendrites to the synaptic terminal at a much faster rate compared to traveling the entire length of the nerve fibers. Synaptic transmission. As the message travels down the axon, it eventually meets swellings known as synaptic terminals. These swellings are filled with sacs known as vesicles. Within these vesicles are chemicals called neurotransmitters. The synaptic terminal helps with communication between neurons through the use of these synaptic vesicles. The vesicles contain the neurotransmitters and are stimulated to release them when action potential reaches the synaptic terminals. Once the neurotransmitters have been released, they diffuse into the synaptic cleft. They will then bind to special molecules present in the neighboring neuron, thus activating it. The presynaptic neuron is the neuron sending the neurotransmitters to the neighboring neuron which is known as the postsynaptic neuron. How action potential and synaptic transmission are connected. Information received through dendrites travel through the axon via action potential process, finishing at the synaptic terminal before being transmitted onto the next dendrite of the neighboring neuron. Neurons act as information transporters, where they are able to communicate through the action potential process and through chemical transmitters in the form of a relay thus generating body movement and thought. Calcium-gated channels are activated by the termination of action potential. As a result, calcium enters the neuron. Calcium then activates the synaptic vesicles to fuse with axon terminal membrane, triggering the presynaptic neuron to release chemicals known as neurotransmitters into the synaptic cliff. This process is known as exocytosis. The neurotransmitters will then bind onto the postsynaptic membrane. So what happened to Lupicina and Polo? You see, at Lupicina and Polo's wedding, the groom's best man and the bridesmaid found interest in each other and fell completely in love and got engaged. They wanted to spread this news to the families who lived in Tonga and so they were on their way to spread the news and the whole process started all over again, just like the activation of the postsynaptic neuron. Oh, wow! Yeah. She's so fine, she's so 